Hello, welcome to a new video. I've not actually made one for a few weeks now. I was on holiday for a couple of weeks. And uh, this week's been a bit of a... a bit of a mismatch of a week and a week. Every day I've done something different. But I've not really had a chance to film anything. Nothing that I thought would interest anybody really. I was in a cage van yesterday doing litter picking of all things, so... Uh, <laughs> I wasn't going to film that. So it's uh, Thursday morning. Time is just going on to 7 o'clock. We're in Presswick. We're just in the kind of Marchburn area. And we're on glass. Uh, I'm driving a Elite Plus. It's a 22 plate. This one's kept pretty well. Uh, the two drivers that share this truck, uh, they do keep it clean. <laughs> Not everybody keeps them clean, but this one's this one's always kept clean. And the back end gets washed out properly. So yeah, glass this week. Uh, so it's a wee bit easier glass. You can kind of you can wing round the uh, the route a wee bit quicker than a glass week. Not everyone puts a glass bin out. So yeah, you can you can buzz round it your actual route a wee bit a wee bit faster than uh, normal. And the bins are nice and light as well. Well, normally anyway. Normally they're pretty light. A lot of them are missing lids. I don't know what it is about these wee bins, these V140s, but they're, the lids are very brittle. You see a lot of the 140 glass bins without lids. Very common. <laughs> My loaders today are Alan and Kirk. These are the two normal loaders on this run. These are good loaders, they work well together. They're both good workers. They're not all like that, believe me. <laughs> but these are these are two of the, the better ones for sure. It's going to be a nice day. It's sitting at 13 degrees. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit for anybody watching from America. But 13 degrees Celsius. So I think it's to reach about 18 maybe. I think I've explained in one of my previous videos about the glass that you do it slightly different than any other bin. You move the plate that's in the, inside the truck, you move it right up uh, to the headboard. So you get into your computer, you move it right up at the start of the shift. Because the glass, it won't really compact. And every so often you need to do this. I'll jump on the brakes here. If a wee emergency stop and you can hear the glass all sliding up the inside of the truck 
so that's why you move the plate right up at the start. That's how we, that's how we do it anyway. Oh, here we go. There he is, number one. Thank you. Oh, we're getting there. We've had our peace break. So this is just the last wee bit of the run today. Ah, maybe, maybe 15 minutes. 15, 20 minutes should be finished. Back into that car. Go. You've always got to watch with these uh, trucks having the rear steer. Once you go above, I think it's 22 miles an hour, uh, the rear steer uh, uh, disengages. And above that, your steer axles uh, stay in place. I think there's a permit up here somewhere. I think Alan's just about to go for it. No. He is the running bin man. <laughs> Alan runs about quite a bit, he's a good loader.
look inside, switch this off first, stops this uh, lifter working. We look at the plate compacting. Just waiting, Kurt coming. Yeah, <coughs> ah, no, not ten minutes. We'll be done. Not ten minutes. We're all soaking. Fuck the wood. Hope you've enjoyed this uh, video today. As I say, it's my first one for a few weeks. It's not a chance to really do one recently. I know the food waste uh, videos, they go down quite well, but I've not actually been on a food waste truck for a good few months now. But uh, the first chance I get, I'll certainly a video a food waste run. But as I say, it's been about <sighs> it's been about six months I think since I was on one of the food waste trucks. Which I'm quite happy about because <laughs> that's the that's the job I hate the most. <laughs> but it seems to be quite popular reviewers seeing all the food waste and you know, everything that the food waste entails, but <laughs> for me personally <laughs> That's the job that I do, I do dislike the most. Because you jump in and out, in and out constantly. And being a driver, being a lazy bugger, <laughs> the last thing I want to do is jump in and out, in and out all day. But unfortunately that's just the way it is with the food waste. You're really a driver slash loader when you're on the food waste. And the rule was uh, we are council, as I say, you're an HGV driver only, you're not a loader. So if you want to jump out, then you can. If you want to jump out and give the guys a hand, you certainly can do that. But it's not your job. So some drivers do jump out more than others. But it's good sometimes uh, uh, just to stretch your legs. And if it's a nice day like this, I don't mind getting out and put a few bins on. If it's if it's lashing the rain, <laughs> and the loaders are on their own, <laughs> ain't gone with it. <laughs> but if it's a nice day, it's good to get out. Some days I envy the loaders. You know, a day like this, with the sun's shining, it's, it's nice and warm. I actually envy the guys putting the bins on. I think I'd rather be at the back than sitting driving. It's a wee bit boring sometimes. But if you're out, a day like this, it's, you know, it's quite good if you've got a good bit of banter with the with other loader you're working with. That's yeah, a that's yeah, a good job. A lot of folk look down in Binman, you know, loaders as they're called these days, but you know Binman. And, but it's an okay job. You get good perks. You know, what for? Especially working for councils, you get good perks. You get you get a decent pension. You get great holidays. And uh, yeah, it's not a bad job, and it's not a dirty job. No, these days we all the all the wheelie bins. It's not like the olden days with the sacks and where they're putting the old metal bins over their shoulder. Like the Regent. Oh, that's a great thing. What's the date for? Uh, I'll just go down this way, I think. Uh. Aye, I'd have been running this way for me too. Like 
might change up here though, with all the sand going up and the marmous grass. Yes, that would be the perfect flood. It's off scraped mob, you see it, but it's left it. Some views here up there, like here, some of the apartments. Ah, you've got a good view up there. Thanks for the day. I don't know what kind of money they go for. I don't know. Eh, I think one, like, two bedrooms are about 110 grand or something. Right. Alright, right. That's where uh, I'd imagine if we sat a day or whatever, disappear up from here. Is it stained now? I was going to see what's happening this Saturday. Oh, I'll get the stain put in the new. So that Hurston's plant's completely shelved then, I'm assuming. Oh, I think it will be. You think it's going to open effect anyway? A bit more upbeat. Life, life, a bit of... Oh, I'm partial to that. What do you call that again? A silver what? What do you call it? Oh, silver cross. Silver cross, cross. aye. The two lanes. Da 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 da. Gordon. Gordon.